correct and they think they can go about and do it, I wish you well. So let me bring you back to um, your constitution and according to Madam Judith Kamemba, uh, what the constitution says is that uh, there's, there's, no, there's, there's no position for the president. You were just hired, brought in for the 2021 elections, after which you're non-existent. That's what it says. <laughs> and, and she said that here yesterday. So in as far as they're concerned, your position doesn't exist because you were just brought in for the 2021 elections. Uh, flavor. This is why this country is like this. Because uh, we dwell on non-issues more than real issues. Uh, we had a convention in November last year. Mm. And the convention that we had adopted a constitution, by the way. I think they're talking about that document which was in the old one. That's why the convention was called. It was to deal with that anomaly. And the convention adopted a new constitution. The new constitution, that is why if there is no position of uh, president, why is she going around saying she's vice president herself? If there is no presidential, if there is no president position, how is she vice president? Because even her being vice president, it's coming from the constitution uh, that uh, we currently have. Because if there is no president in that constitution she's referring to, then she cannot be. Vice President. But she is Vice President on suspension because of the strength of the current constitution, which was adopted at the convention that we had. And the convention, a president is elected from a convention. The constitution what, of Zambia... What, what's your term according to the new constitution? The constitution How of Zambia, long is your term? Let me finish. The constitution of Zambia prescribes that one cannot stand for the president's position before they conduct elections in their own party. They are elected mm -hmm. in their own party. So unless you are elected as president in your own party, not sponsored as to stand, elected in your own party, the constitution cannot allow you to stand as president. So that is why that convention was held, to adopt the new constitution, which we are currently using now. They might have that, you know, a party is a part of rules. Mm. And that's why you've got the DNC. The DNC is the one which controls things as they are running up and down. Yeah. So we adopted a new constitution, which we are currently using. It might not even be at the Register of Societies, but that is the constitution which we used to take us into elections. And that is why today Madam Kabemba and the, my brother Nkonge can go around saying we've got these positions. And those same positions they are mentioning, it is Ari Kalawa who appointed them. Using the new constitution. Speaking of uh, constitution and accusations, um, there are a lot of accusations that have been leveled against you leading to your purported expulsion, uh, Mr. President. Among them, wanting to supplant the DP with PF, making appointments without the knowledge of the executive committee, lack of financial discipline, and holding the office illegally. Let's begin with your presidency at DP. What is the correct position regarding your presidency in the DP? Uh, first of all, uh, Flavor, I'll tell you that uh, I think the, the correct position of who Harry Kalawa is in the DP was uh, announced yesterday by the Secretary General of our party, Comrade Chavi, after we held our Democratic National Committee meeting at the Secretariat. And uh, the DNC... I gave the correct position that uh, Harry Kalava is fully in charge of the DP. Uh, he's president of the DP. Yeah, all smiles this yeah. morning. <laughs> because I'm standing on terra firma. <laughs> You're all smiles this morning. I've noticed that. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, they affirm that I'm the president. And uh, in fact, you know, Flav, I told them actually yesterday. Mm. I said, you know, for me, I don't push for positions. Eh? I told them, colleagues, if you feel the surgical operations that I'm introducing are not right, today, allow me just to step back. Today, allow me to step back. I would rather, as I told you earlier, I would rather not go for an election to go and lose again than to continue massaging myself 
na defend fifty five we know yo apeni na apeni banga twenty twenty six na ba UPND aba fifty locks na appoint cabinet up to now ama PSs are not yet appointed three months ba kesi wina my elections I cannot allow that not under my watch until we do the right things because this election gave us an uh, insight of what's supposed to be in an election. You know, it was the first time that we participated in an election. Eh? Mm, mm. So it brought out a lot of things that w- that were not real or evident if you are not actually in the field. That's why now we are participating in the by-elections right now. Yeah. In all the seven areas, we are there. We want to prepare for the elections that time. And we are dead serious. So, coming to the issue of presidents and those allegations, mm. yes, sir, I am... The DP leader. And what's the, the next allegation? The well, there's 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 two. Okay. One, you're appointing members without the knowledge of the executive committee. And yesterday was mentioned that the notable, you know, uh, names in uh, Mr. Lawrence Sichalwe and Mr. Alexander Shteme were seen attending a DP meeting. That's not true. That's without not true. you know consulting That's not the true. executive. That's not true. Now uh, now look, me I was foreign affairs minister. And maybe to some extent it's the levels of exposure and the levels of depth in these matters that is uh, at variance. Uh, the truth of the matter is, even as you are interacting with uh, Oscar Chavola here at Hot FM Flavor, it doesn't mean that you are at par. Of course not. Of course not. Thank you for that admission. Mm. Um, it's just that you, you, you have relations by association by virtual that you're together, you're working. Mm. But it's also good to keep your canonical space and understand that uh, even though I can have tea, break bread, and is a colleague in the struggle, at the end of the day, this fellow was Minister of Foreign Affairs. This guy was Minister of Lands and Environment. He was Deputy Minister of the President. He was uh, MP, elected. Elected! Never flanked as MP, eh? Elected twice uh, to become MP. Uh, so he's a serious man that we are dealing with. People are joining the DP. Have you ever seen, ever since we finished the elections, have you seen us having defections? People joining the DP. We don't do that. What we have decided in the DP is that we will not be parading people. There are some people that might want to work with you. And you don't want to embarrass them by saying, oh, here is a Chitenge for DP, now we are wrapping it around your waist. And come on, those politics are, belong to the Stone Age. For us, when people like of that level, I mean, you've mentioned Honorable Lawrence Sichalwe mm. comes and says, okay, DP, you are moving well, and uh, I think I would like to, to know more about you as DP. Then you invite him. So we'll be having a DNC meeting. It would be good for DNC members to even know you. You also to get to know how we we'll conduct our meetings mm. and to understand that the DP is not just Harry Kalawa. It's a collective of, uh, you can't call that that you're supplanting the party. In case you have forgotten flavor, I resigned on the strength of corruption. Eh? I walked out on the PF. That's, that's a different story, by the way. Um, so your resignation basically was you um, being informed that you'll be fired in the next few days. And by therefore, who? Uh, by the president, of course. And therefore... President Tilungu is not dead. And, and therefore... President Tilungu is not dead. Let me just finish. Go and ask him. And therefore, you resigned before you were fired that's a but story that story that, but that story you know is that the first you're hearing that story well i mean it depends on who says it. Uh, listen my, uh, listen eko na fuma ku mansa tulanda tu shikute menwe takakwe opa tu soma bobe which simply means if someone doesn't like you they will not tell you you are handsome flavor they will never say anything nice they will never you. say nothing nice about you so yeah. they will want to tell you it's just that I am a person of decorum myself. Mm. And I take great exception to those insinuations because that is part of defamation of character. Mm. I take great exception because, as you know, I resigned on my own accord. I resigned on the 17th of December 2017. The ones who were speaking on that order that was, was going to be fired, when did they know me? They only knew me. Some of them, I think I met them 10 months or a year after I'd already resigned. So how did they know the story that I was about to be? And that's the mistake you make. Because you work with Oscar in here, you think you know everything about him. 
and, and you want to hoodwink people that they, you tell them that we know Oscar, we know what. It's not like that. It's not like that. They are certain. They don't know me. They don't know who I am. So, <laughs> but, but they worked with you. Yes, but working with me, working with Oscar Chavula doesn't make give you the right to tell us that uh, this is how we raise the money to do this. That's how it. It doesn't work that way. Then you said, "Oh, there was money which Harry Kalaba was misappropriated." That's another allegation. Now that allegation, financial indiscipline. Uh -huh. and that one is going to the courts. I uh, have instructed the lawyers and I've started working on it because that is defamation of character. I am seeking for office of president. I'm seeking for public office. If I can't account for monies in the party, I don't have the right to seek for office of presidency. I don't have. And I would like my colleagues who have raised that allegation to go and authenticate it in the courts of law. Just why? Which monies? Which monies? The day they were announcing the reported expulsion, mm. Flavia, they were using a car from my company. That's the car they came in because I had given that car to be used. A Nissan had bought had given it to Madam Kabemba to use. That's the vehicle they used to come in. That. So if I'm using my own vehicles to help the party grow, using my own resources, you can call that misapplication of resources to the party. And you want the public to believe. You know, if you don't like the surgical operation I'm doing, mm. just stick there. But when you talk about financial indiscipline, that one has to be proven. And it's going to the courts. But it is proven. You, you, you picked Ms. Kabemba as your vice president and yes, uh, I did. running mate for August 12th pause. Yes. How were you allowed to make this decision knowing very well that you were just a sponsored candidate? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs> you were smart. <laughs> People have been telling me you are smart. Oh, please. And now you're proving it right before me. <laughs> How was I allowed? <laughs> How do you allow someone you have invited, <laughs> someone you have invited to begin chairing your DNC meetings? How do you allow someone you have invited to appoint you, who, who you has found, to appoint you, and you also accept, and you also accept to be running mate, you accept to be vice president, you accept that he is the one signing on all the documents, on the certificate of adoption, because the president signs on those certificates. I was signing on those certificates. So if I was sponsored by the owners of the party, why did I start appointing the owners of the party again? to take up those respective positions. It tells you that this story has got no legs. This story has got no head. This story is just meant to rubbish Harry Kalaba in the face of Zambians who have begun believing that yes, in Zambia there is hope with a leader like Harry Kalaba. Because Zambians are counting on us. I tell you, Flavor, the number of calls I've received, they are huge. Mm. I didn't know. I didn't have an idea. This is the depth of appreciation. And thank you, Zambia. It is deep. I didn't know it was this deep. You came out said 24,000, 25,000 there, but um, do you think that you, you did very well as a party? I know third sounds nice, but if we look at numbers which yep. don't, don't lie, 24 or 25,000 at the most, you know, comparing to 2.8 million. As member of parliament million. for Bahati, mm. the last election I had, I had 23,000 votes in 2016. Just an, as an MP. Just as an MP yeah. for Bahati. Yeah. And when we had our review meeting with the DNC, I told them, first of all, I asked them, if they wanted me to continue being president or not, given the fact that I didn't think myself that we didn't do what we should have done properly. They were told, no, 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 Mr. President. We have done well. We've managed to beat other political parties. We are now number three. Uh, now we are going to be number two. Eventually we'll be number one. And uh, you are the right face for the party. I heard the other day that I was a bad candidate. I heard it the other day. But it's fine. Look, that is why for me, looking at me, 
for me who has been in politics for quite some time, mm. the third position might look attractive. But when you open the depth of that th uh, a third position, you require a lot of work to make it really third position. People are joking. People are mocking. Eh? They say, oh, even he spoiled ballots, how did they beat you? So. That's funny. That's funny, yeah, but it's true. Antonio Mwanza in his own uh, crazy world says, come on, Harry Kalaba, how can you be the biggest opposition? Uh, you should be fighting with the uh, spoiled ballots. <laughs> <laughs> but so uh, when he speaks like that and I'm listening, I don't take offense with him. I agree with him that, yes, we should have had those votes for the spoiled ballots. They should have come to us. Yeah, because, so yeah. we need to do a lot of work. And that is why surgical operation of the dp will have to be done because the hopes that we have the hopes that the people are putting on our shoulders cannot just go like that without us doing the real work that we should do it is for that reason that we are doing what we are doing and i'm not doing it for myself i can tell you before god that even what i'm doing now is not for myself i nearly died in 2005, you know the story. When you look at me, I'm carrying scars mm, mm. on my forehead. I had a train accident which nearly claimed my life. I'm living on borrowed time because God is merciful and gracious. I could have died. I don't know how long I have to live in this life. I don't know. But I know for sure that today I am here. And when I am here, it is my intention to do that which is right. And uh, that is why I took part company with President Lungu in 2017. A man who appointed me twice as foreign minister. When a wrong is a wrong, it's a wrong. That is why even today it is okay for Madam Kabemba and Mr. Nkwonge to go. When it is a wrong, it doesn't matter the relationship you have with me. A wrong is a wrong. And the right is a right. That, for me, is the definition of leadership. Another accusation leveled against you, um, Mr. President, is that you are dissolving DP structures and replacing them with PF structures without the, again, no knowledge of the DNC. No flavor. I think unless people didn't attend the DNC meeting, unless people didn't attend the DNC meeting, it was a DNC meeting itself. The minutes are there. Deputy Secretary Chintu has them and Precious Intam was the uh, Secretary then. They have the minutes. It is the DNC itself that said we have not done well. Flavor, how do you explain? You get one vote at a polling station yeah. where you have a branch. How do you explain that you had leaders in that place if you can get two votes? If you can get 10 votes because our structure of the DP is that it should be 30 members per committee. 30 members per committee. Even if those 30 members voted, would have had 30 votes. Even if others didn't vote. But those are our members, the 30 themselves. They didn't vote. They should have voted. We should have at least 30 votes. But you get two votes. You get one vote. In some instances, you get zero. And you want to take things as business as usual. That's an opportunity for you. It's, it, it's, are you to introspect? Are you are you admitting to the fact that you're perhaps bringing in people from PF? Having said that, look, I'll be lying if I don't tell you that we are receiving a lot of people coming from the PF. We are receiving a lot of members coming from the UPND and other political parties. The truth is, in 1991, in 1991, when UNIP lost. MMD was born. MMD was birthed by that same uh, uh, UNIP. Yeah. The UPND today are saying the UPND won the elections. UPND won elections. UPND is a beneficiary of the demise of MMD. It is the MMD structures. If you see in 2011, UPND did not win Western Province. UPND did not win Central Province. UPND did not win uh, uh, Northwestern Province. It was MMD. When MMD lost the presidency or state house in 2011, 
That is how the structures began tumbling from uh, MMD to UPND. Today, you have Madam Nam Amtalena Lumango. When did she join UPND? 2011, yeah, about. After MMD lost power. Yeah. She was deputy speaker of the National Assembly. As member of parliament for Kaputa, she lost. She decided to join the UPND. If President Akainde Hichilema had said, I don't want Madam Nalumango because you, you were MMD, so don't come in UPND, Madam Nalumango would not be vice president today. Today she's cleansed and polished UPND. Why? Because President Hakainde Hichilema gave her an opportunity to join them and strengthen the cause. Politics is about numbers. Yeah. Not about the two of you just uh, moving from one studio to another studio. It's about numbers. That is why today the DP has remained intact. If they had the numbers today, I would not even sit here as president. It's because I am the one with the numbers. That's why I'm here as president. If they had the numbers, I would have been kicked out already. The DNC yesterday, Chabi would have announced that uh, we, uh, we are going to suspend Harry Kalaba. But no. So, the point I'm trying to make is, but PF ba kesa, but PF ba lipo na ma elections. Elo ba PF te ba kabugere na kabiri. PF will never bounce back. And you want to accuse me. Yo kalaba, he wants to bring my UPND and supplant. Why is it that if I want to supplant, but I have never DNC, even they fogu funyapo. Why are they supporting me to continue as president? It's because they have understood the intention. Sometimes we fear our own shadows. And I can tell you that I mean well even for my colleagues, those who are in the DNC. And I've told them, at a time you think I am not sufficient for the cause, please don't even hesitate. It will be a burden removed of me. It's not easy being president of a party. Flavia, last year I toiled to run the elections. Here, ask your boss here how I used to come and uh, papata him for me to stagger payments just for us to appear to have that one hour. And he's a great man, Oscar. Even in our struggles, he gave us a plan. But he gave us an opportunity to be on radio. It's not easy to lead a party. Mm. That's why I'm a party. We are joining this party because of good policies. Or we are joining those. But this is not the type. That is joining any other person because we have started a battle. And he knocked Nabela PF in. No, he wants PF. No, but PF have been engaged by several folks to join. In end, they put together they come in a munga anda. Plan to PF for by sir. Then to put together, but I'm born at the PF. No, no, but President, you put certain person in your way that PF. No, you let the other PF DP. No, but money. In a PF, I'm a police PF in Adikana. Temula and do a to a man who has been Political parties are run on the basis of policies. My policies. In that quarter, zero tolerance to corruption. You know that. I resigned on the basis of that. Never have I been visited by the Anti-Corruption Commission. Never have I been visited by the DEC. I was the only minister in the government. I have a, a bunch of receipts. I was the only minister. When a minister is going to the constituency, supposed to be paid for by the state. Naleka naine to be paid for by foreign affairs. Go and ask them that's still there. I used to sponsor myself. This is a man who can come here and accuse of misapplying money. Me. Out of my 10 priorities, my brother, money does not even appear. I told you before you move to the next point. Nachira mieva imwe. In an angana from 2005. The Pangama decisions now based on what is correct. And I don't give it a hoot on what the other person thinks. I, I'm not here to please an individual. I'm here to please the masses of Zambians who think that it didn't be fear. Hari Kalabanga take a chinwe chalo. Limbi a massivo servants we gala kobuino. Limbi umufundo. To Africa on time, just maybe these things could be better. Those are the ones I live for. I'm speaking to the DP president, Mr. Harry Kalava, on uh, the hot set this morning. We're live on our Facebook page, we are live on your hot station, we are also live on DSTV 
and uh, we're live on Quito FM 93.3 Phil at home you've been in talks with former ministers MPs and officials and co-opting them in the party as alleged um, my take is and I'll take you back to your conversation with, with examples 1991 the birth of 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 you know um mmd after unip lost 2011 you know some members of the mmd went to upnd this particular one is a bit different because there are a lot of allegations more especially um allegations to do with corruption and 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 violence that characterized you know uh, the, the pf the, the previous administration yeah. don't you think you will be soiled you know uh, if these members from pf who are allegedly you know um having been involved in corruption join the dp because it, the story is different from the unip to mmd from no you know, mmd we MMD saw to money PF. being buried we saw what in mmd we saw a lot of stuff being done you know I'm but a, maybe it's a bit different i'm an time. ardent and keen follower of history mm. i am birthed by history mm. uh look i am not naive I resigned on the strength of corruption because mm. I didn't agree. And people were saying, there's no corruption in PF. At that time, I would have chosen the path of silence. But I chose to speak and take the, take the bull by its horns of resigning. I resigned. And President Ilungu is still alive. He has not rebutted that. His government never rebutted that. He, he got wind of it. That's why if into FIMO, you know, you just sympathize. Coming back to your question. If we have a DP, what I have said is, Mupiefu, Tebon Shaba Vipile. Tebon se kwaliven so selo. It is true. Just one person here is rude at Hot FM. I'll take it at Hot FM. That's why I won't. But PF, no, 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 PF, no, 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 we are taking the, the, a different direction of insatiable appetite and making a mockery of governance. Even Alandi. I still stand by that. Nachila miwati na ngufia ni vaa lungu vene as president. No, but listen. Ubuatia tukwete is that we want to paint everything black. Mupiefte fionse fia vipe fia abamo. There are a lot of good people in there. Aba firu oku fumamo. Umula nduwa ute tawa kwete strength. Tawa kwe take uh, capacity to come out. It takes courage to make a decision I took. It also takes courage to remain. But it takes more courage to take that decision. So, tetu wabafi ya ingeba di abambi. Ewe tamuwa mfu wapu ativali hibe, fivari chite, fivivi. Wamo na utila kwe nana, ifafi tuwa ikali ile. Tawa kwe take courage, pantu wabadi muruling ati teke nara siu. Nombe pona ba pona ba na ifuwa DP mtu sumine if we can be your members. Nombe kana ba kana Oscar. Mule fuwa antole. Nge se kwa tatu in two thousand votes na kavidi. Fuwa mule fuwa tef. Let's move. Ichi ngabi pa what can be bad on mm. that Oscar? Ah, on, not Oscar. Mm. Flavor. Mm. Uh, what can be bad about that? Is kind of when we get positions. Vai sa fiya pe nat oh okay mama ala ba ba deputy band. Imwemu alaba ba antu wa nikani bandi. Imwemu alaba nomba. Imwemu alaba advisory council wakwa president. Imwemu mm. wafu mamu PF. Mweba, mweba chitirefi. Mweba chitotala kale eniapa. Wanani kale eniapa. Imwemu alaba ma advisors. Then you can say, mm, kalaba. He must be smoking something strange. I am not. Let's discuss the coming in of Mr. Javis Chavi. Jewis. Jewis Chavi. Um, into the party. And his uh, subsequent appointment as national secretary in is is obviously another issue that has been raised by the Kamemba faction. How did Mr. Chabi come into the DP? It's a very good question, by the way. Mm. There are three founders. 
three architects of this project and later on four because Nedi also came and joined mm. you call dp four four chavi jewis was one of the four in fact one of the three initially because the first one was myself Ari Kalaba. the second one was machined in tambu is here actually machined in tambu the third was chavi jewis and that time Nedi Nzowa, may so rest in peace, he was in Canada. He became the fourth. They began the process of saying things cannot be like this. Those four. Machindi is still alive. Chavi is still alive. Chavi became a member of parliament. And he was not very active with the running around every day. He was a member of parliament. For not which, that. For which political party? Chavi was an independent for Chipiri. Okay. Chavi has been at this from inception. That's why I'm saying that others might not know. But Chavi has been at this from the inception. Even for me to know Madam Kabemba, it is Machine who brought Madam Kabemba to me. I didn't know her. For me to know uh, my brother Nkongi, it was Chavi who brought them to me. I didn't know them. Machine said, Kabemba. Uh, but please put him there. And Machindi went further to propose that I think he can even she can be a good spokesperson uh, for our cause. Mm. And I and I agreed. And uh, Chabi also said, uh, 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 and in Konge, I can tell you, Flavia, here without any malice, that uh, it's sad because uh, Konge was uh, an ally. Konge was an ally. And uh, Nkonge has uh, done so much. And I would dare not say anything bad about him. Nkonge has done so much. And I feel bad. I feel bad that Nkonge has taken that path he has taken. Uh, because apparently, <laughs> I was joking the other time, I was joking this morning, I was saying, <laughs> I think I missed that edition. Which one? I missed that edition on how to betray a person without the person knowing. <laughs> <laughs> I missed that edition. Nkonge should have shared it with me. Uh, he didn't share, and I know he will laugh. He knows I'm joking about this. Uh, he shouldn't. I think he should have. We should have taken this thing in another dimension, not in the dimension uh, mm. he should have uh, taken it, because uh, I loved him deeply. Mr. President, politics is a game of numbers, and uh, thank you. There's there's strength in in numbers. Is it too late for the two factions to reconcile? And give hope to Zambians in terms uh, uh, of first of providing all, checks and balances. Uh, first of all, there are no factions. There's only one DP. I remember. First of all, I think a uh, uh, comrade uh, Nkonge and Madam Kabemba's contention has got nothing to do with the DP. They agree with the DP as it is. Their only contention is with Harry Kalaba as president. It's Harry Kalaba they don't want to be the leader of the party. That's their only contention. So don't say they are factions. They're not factions. Their only challenge, which they have taken even to the High Court, I think, is that Harry Kalaba should not be president. That's their only thing. The others, they don't, they don't have a problem with DP as it is. They don't have a problem with DNC members uh, and the, the appellate powers that the institutions have. They don't have those challenges. It is Harry Kalaba and the way he is institutionalizing these reforms after the elections. That is the a challenge. So... It is up to the DNC themselves. It's the DNC which has suspended them. It's not me. It's the DNC which has suspended them. She took that decision. And by the way, Flavor, you know, I was encouraged. The way the DNC members, even those that have been relaxed, the way they just came from Northwestern, they are Western, uh, Northern, Luapula, uh, you know, Copper Belt, they all just came. Do you also sit in the DNC? Yes, I do. I don't, chair the DNC. Don't you think your influence matters? No, 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 no. For me, people discuss. And the people, they discuss, then they... As I told you, at the end of the day, yes, it's up to me. I mean, not up to me. It's me who is the, the presiding officer. Mm. But it's what they want. They have overruled me several times in those meetings. They have overruled me, and I've, I have gone with it. You've respected I've respected the decision. So it is up to the DNC. For now, what I know is that the suspensions have been meted out. And uh, for us as DP... We are not going to be derailed. No, we will not be derailed. 
by an action of anybody we will not be derailed for us as dp we will remain focused because the job we have and i want to tell our members out there mm. using your very prestigious platform here continue working don't be derailed mwe saka mane fresh kumuluku kala banga akafumanga president niliyoline for now just don't be derailed continue working because you have an opportunity to make things right i do understand that there are no factions as you put it but is it too late to reconcile still with uh, you know the, the the two members of the of the party uh, in uh, miss kabemba and uh, i think Mr. in an indian that it's not up to me it's, it's not for me it's but you're the me. leader of the party and therefore leadership requires you to to you know lead from the front you, because even when you have to be the bigger person being, yeah even when those things are being uh, were being done and were being fomented that was not uh, in the know it's not for me uh, it's them who have taken that decision against me so it is them you should have asked that question not me it's them who have taken that decision me i am an innocent baby <laughs> I look at you <laughs> <laughs> On that note, we'll open the phone lines at 0974 or 0967 Talk to us. Uh, it's the Hot Seat Radio Program. My guest this morning is uh, the Democratic Party President, Mr. Harry Kalaba. You're live. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing this morning? Fine, uh Elvis on the line, I'm back again. Elvis, where are you calling us from? Uh, within Osaka. All right. What's your tech this morning? Yeah. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, uh, Elvis. How are you, sir? I'm fine, Mr. President. Thank you. You are speaking very well. Thank you, sir. We cannot afford to divide this party. This is the fastest growing party in this country. And the people are happy with your presidency. As you have said, there is no DP without your name. Even if you come to the uh, compound here, you will find that the people voted for the name, Ari Karaga. There is no party which can grow without the membership. All these political parties, have grown because of members who are coming from other political parties. MMD grew because of people like Mr. Michael Sata who came from UNIP. You have elaborated very well on that podium. I think this is the time when Kombe and Madame Judith Karemba can show leadership. And you sit down with you, Mr. President, you iron out those problems. We need the members in this party. We need members who are loyal to the party. And if, Mr. President, you can be scandalized on media like that. Mr. Elvis, please wind let up so that we accommodate yeah, other people as well. Yeah. Yeah, let me conclude. What is going to happen to us members who want to join the party? So let's put this out in order so that Mr. President will continue. DP cannot be where it is without your presence there. I thank you, Mr. President, to continue doing what you are doing. You are very good, President, and you have managed to unite this party. The numbers you got is because of you. Mr. So Elvis, continue, Mr. President, Mr. Elvis many thanks for calling us. Thank we, you very much. We appreciate it. 974 We'd really appreciate if you can keep your uh, uh, comment or indeed your contribution very short because obviously the queue is quite long and there's a lot of people who want to call in. And how we'll do it, Mr. President, we'll take in three, then you can you know, uh, tackle them, then we get back to the phone calls. 974 Good morning. Morning. How are you, sir? Good, thank you. How are you doing this morning? Yeah, how are you, Mr. Kalaba? I'm fine, how are you, sir? Yeah, this is Mr. Chongo calling you from Mazabuka. Mr. Chongo from Mazabuka, talk to us. Yeah, I'm going to question about Kalaba. Because the Kumbo Kapem Nariku campaign, the paper of the before my book campaign, yeah, I mean, they are amazing campaign, I mean, the party, the Mongani Pahos. Remember my campaign? So, Vice President, 
Ika mba uti mungu waka chika pa munga 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 president Aka luza uro amin Aka luza paja nishi kwa chila futa nyo Niku yamba sesi wani Nifuna uti nifuna uti nima nene Nikosi Maka mba uti mba nami itana chade Muna teza pati ya wai yamba Na imi muka mba uti mba yamba pati Niwa taka pati wa java kazi oru ndimu Mm. Mr. Chongo, many thanks for calling us uh, from Mazabuka. 0974-870-877-0968-777-447. It is uh, the Hot Seat Radio Program. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Who is this we're talking to this morning? Uh, this is Victor. This is who? This is Victor. Victor. Zin Osaka, yes. Talk to us. Yes, uh, good morning, Mr. Kalaba. Good morning, uh, sir. Uh, fine, thank you. Uh, I think I have one question. Well, can you tell the nation why the two gentlemen are against you and you as a leader, what are you doing about it? You are a leader. Now, don't talk about the committee of the members, but you being the leader because a leader has to follow the ship. Thank you. Let's uh, deal with those three. Mr. President. Now, I didn't understand uh, Victor's question, uh, sincerely speaking, because uh, Victor is talking about the issue of uh, uh, why the two are against you. I think this is something I'd explained. Eh? I'd say that I, I think the, the two should have been the ones to, to explain. And I think they have uh, itemized a number of issues, mm. uh, which you have, the allegations. And I mm. think those are the basis on which they have said uh, they are against me. Uh, they have said that uh, I should not be party president because there's no such a position mm. uh, in the party. They have also said that uh, uh, there's misapplication of resources. Yeah. Uh, they have also said that uh, I am implementing uh, issues in the party without consulting the Democratic National Committee. And they have also gone ahead to say to allege that uh, I am trying to supplant the party with... Mm. Uh, with the PF. Yeah. I think those are the two issues. And uh, what am I doing about it as a leader? I mean, they are the ones who have raised the issues. And we have said uh, the DNC has dealt with those issues. They have suspended them. And uh, they have gone to court, taking these matters to court. So the courts will rule. Uh, Mr. Chongoma Zabuka, you, you were invited. Is it true? Or who started the party? I think... Uh, there's a list of people at, at uh, the Registrar of Societies of uh, who started uh, the DP. And uh, uh, it's supposed to be 10 people, but now there are nine there because the position of president is vacant. And so uh, to bring people together to start the DP, Harry Kalaba was, uh, was, uh, uh, was there. Uh, Elvis, uh, thank you very much for... Uh, for your niceties that have been lavished on me and for encouraging us at a time such as this uh, so that we continue growing the party. Uh, it is well and uh, I am really grateful that uh, you have, uh, you have uh, lavished uh, me with those uh, niceties. So we we'll continue pushing. We we'll continue making it uh, a point that uh, we succeed as a party. Thank you. Zero nine seven four eight seven zero eight double seven. You're live. Good morning. Good morning, Luigi. It's uh, flavor. Oh, sorry, flavor. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Honorable Kalaba. Baba, my wife, Mumbi Piri. How are you? I'm very well, my dear young brother. It's good to hear from you. Thank you so much. Yesterday, flavor can bear me witness. I registered my disappointment with uh, my sister, Judy Kabenda. Because I believe that Nanguma politics, they should be due sense in what we are doing. I couldn't believe that Judy can start agreeing with those who were saying, you didn't resign, you, re you resigned when you realized you were about to be fired. Judy believed in you. What has changed today for her to start disparaging you? I believe in decency. And my question to you is, according to Judy, she was wondering as to what value Vasichula was going to add to your party. 
So is it true that you intend to make the situla Schalwe. a chairman Schalwe. for polyga- for pornography? Schalwe. Schalwe, actually. Oh, Schalwe, yes. Yeah. Is it true that you intend to make him chairman for, for pornography? Otherwise, the development is very, very sad. And let us all, as politicians, start behaving and have decent in what we are doing. Um, Thank you. Madam Mumipiri, before you go, uh, yes. I, you called in yesterday, and I thought you agreed yes. with uh, Madam Judith uh, Kabemba that Mr. Harry Kalaba knew he was going to be fired. That's why he resigned. I thought you agreed with him, with with her. Pardon? I thought no, you... that's why I challenged her, and I told her that I was disappointed because that's what people were saying, and Judy is on record. She dis, you know, she's disputed for her to come back and uh, start agreeing with something she never agreed to. That's where I find it to be very indecent of her to do that. If you believe in something, you should die with it. The way I believe in uh, President Edgar Chagwalungu, no matter what people say, I still believe in him up to today. And he's being vindicated. That's the way it's supposed to be. Vindicated. Yes, vindicated. And that's the way it's supposed to be. People like their ghost workers at Zesco, the minister himself from his party has disputed. So they should be decent in right. what we do. Madam Mumi Piri, thanks so much for calling us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Bye. 974 0974-870-877-4477. This is your hot station, number one for news and entertainment. You're live. Good morning. Uh, good morning. How are you? Good, thank you. How are you doing this morning? I'm well, thank you. Who is this calling us this morning? My name is Kiki Kabemba. I am the leader of the Democratic Party. You said you are the leader of the Democratic Party? Yes, I am the chairperson of the Democratic Party, which is the highest position of the party, according to our constitution. Mm, carry on. Hello? Carry on, we are listening. Thank you very much. Uh, I have a question for Mr. Kalaba. Mm. Mr. Kalaba, good morning. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Kalaba, I want to ask you a question. 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 A corrupt that President Lungu was a criminal when you told the people of Zambia that Chipotle Chitalikulukia and all those names you mentioned were criminals. Is it right for you, sir, to come back today and it's the same people you call the criminals. The same people you told the Zambian people that they should never believe them and trust them. And now you want to bring them in the DC. Mr. Kalaba, tell the Zambian people is it right to get the same people that the Zambian people rejected because of what you told them yourself with your mouth that these people were criminals? And today, sir, you sum a court and you say they should be in the the second question, sir. Um, please, please I make it short. I wish you to tell the people of Zambia what the duty constitution says 
about party president. Thank you. Thanks so much for calling us. Um, 0974-870-877-0967-877-447. Let's take in uh, a third one. Then you can, uh, you know, uh, handle those, uh, uh, you know, Mr. Calabar. Yeah, live. Good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Uh, yeah. Good morning. Yes, yes. Good morning. Eh, my brother Zen. 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 Eh. Kamba ntimbere. Ah, ene kana ene kuna pempa kuliwa harika. Kiyanga wa itano wa madam kavimba kuti. Wa wa kani ba so zati wa kambi sani bine bine so zati wa kumpi yoni ya ya siri mukani cha kozi. Kaya uti zati wa kana makumpi yoni mukani so. Spanny, <laughs> Zikom. Uh. Those two very interest. Uh, among us, the three, uh, two are very interesting. One from Madam Mumbi Piri. One from Madam Judith Kabemba, who says she's the chairperson of the Democratic Party, which is uh, the topmost position in the party. Uh, that's obviously disregarding the fact that you <laughs> are the president. <laughs> Mm, <laughs> That's mm, why mm. before you do something in life, you should always think through <laughs> because you end up hanging in the air. But Mumbi Piri, I'm happy to have uh, heard from you. Uh, thank you so much. I didn't follow the program. Uh, yes, I didn't follow mm. the program. I didn't follow their program, mm. but uh, I think there was this discussion of uh, that she called and challenged uh, mm. uh, this same lady called Kabemba and uh, said you should be consistent. Clearly so. <sighs> I don't know what was happening here in this. I think on the part person. of you being fired or you resigning before you're fired, yeah. she actually agreed with Madam Judith Kabemba because she called yesterday. So, uh, uh, but now she's saying that uh, that is not the correct position. Yeah, I mean, I... Uh, yes, I think uh, she's right. I think decency is important. Decency is important. Uh, just two days, uh, two weeks ago, you were saying, you know, this is a lie, this is what happened. Futuwa, we are radio. Yo, I think Ari Kalaba was supposed to be fired and then he got wind of it and then he did into Anikane. Then you know something is not adding up. Uh, so my my mom be pure. Thank you for having assisted me yesterday uh, for that call. I think uh, consistency is key in what we do in life. Uh, Madam uh, Kabemba, reported uh, 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 you are bringing in a bunch of my that they are criminals. I have never called anybody a criminal myself. You know, I'm a former diplomat, by the way. My language flavor is very measured on individuals. Even as I criticize President Lungu, as I criticize anybody, I'm very aware of uh, what can come uh, tomorrow if I use a term that I can't account for. Like Madam Kabemba will be going before the courts for defamation of character for the things that she, she had said. It's because uh, uh, be careful with what you say. And uh, you should never allow emotions eh, to run your, your course. You shouldn't. Uh, even if uh, you don't agree with somebody, you are in a marriage flavor. Mm, mm. Even if you don't agree with a person, have a measure of decency in the manner you talk about your, your ex-husband or your ex-wife or your ex-partner. There should be that decorum. You don't want to behave because even people listening to you would say, and even the man of Aleelandiramo, uh, you, you know, people begin thinking about you as uh, something is not right. So, I never use that term. And I still stick, by the way, Madam Kabemba, I still stick by what I said. I think uh, MOPF, uh, seriousness was not there. 
And uh, even now, Madam, I can assure you that in the DP, we'll make, uh, we'll make sure that only uh, people that uh, merit uh, those positions will be accommodated and uh, should not even worry anybody. And the goodness with this flavor is that there is time. Time will tell. Katu nipano. Ati nipano tuli? Nipano tuli. Nipano tuli. Time will tell. Uh, it's a pity that uh, you want to bring an honorable man like Basichalu. Basichalu has achieved so much, by the way. He has achieved what others have only dreamed about or what they have tried to achieve and they have not achieved. Basichalu stood as a member of parliament and he became an MP for Chawama. Basichalu was a councillor. Uh, Basichalu worked with uh, me in uh, parliament. We sat in the same cabinet and he... Uh, I don't even know why he's, uh, he should be a topic of discussion here because he's he's not it's neither here nor there. Aschalo is not DP. He's not he's not uh, taking away anybody from DP or is not taking anybody's position in the DP. So I think they should uh, they should give him a break, please. Uh, brother, is it brother Zen or brother who? My brother Zen. Why can't you call them and uh, sit down? Uh, you know, brother Zen, Abalanda Tinokuboko, Okonafuma. Um, it's not me who took that decision. Uh, it's uh, my colleagues who took that decision. And by the way, she's talking about what does the DP constitution say? <laughs> we are beyond that. We, are, we have gone a step ahead, uh, Madam Kavemba, concerning uh, the constitution. We know, but uh, just to assure you that uh, there, is, uh, there was a convention in place, and the convention is supreme at the end of the day, and... Uh, it took, re, uh, it took uh, the decisions that it took. A party is a club, and the DNC is full in charge. Thank you. 0974 870 the Hot Seat Radio Program, live on Hot FM, live on DSTV, on the audio bouquet. We are also live on Quito FM, Feel at Home on 93.3. Give us a call right now and, uh, uh, you know, contribute. My guest, again, in case you just joined us, is the DP president, Mr. Harry Kalaba. You're live. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, Flavor, once again. Good morning, uh, President Kalaba. Uh, good morning, sir. Yeah, this is Brother K. You see, sir, yesterday we saw what looked like a ping-pong game. <laughs> no, those you, sus those you suspended from the party, they also banned you from entering uh, the, the, the secretariat using their lawyers. It was like the hunt hunted, okay? So, as for me, it was a catch-22, because nobody knows which is which. Now, beside that, there was a very sensitive sentiment, I must stress here, very sensitive sentiment, which was uttered by VP and Treasurer in that studio yesterday. That is, if I heard them correctly, let me repeat, if I heard them correctly, that there is a group of people in your DP who would like to make it difficult for the UPND alliance to govern this country. And that there are sentiments that they anticipate this UPND alliance government not to go as far as to, to, I mean, 2025 because they will fail. Okay? And this has been echoed actually. In some radio stations, or from some callers, we know. It was said uh, yesterday here. Yes, yes, it was. By who? Um, by both the guests. Yesterday, yes. I mean, pick up, pick up the audio tape. From yes, there. yes, you, yeah. you get them. I think yeah, they'll cut it for me. Cut now, it for me, for me, that, for me, for me, that's a very serious matter which yeah. needs to be evaluated before anything catastrophic, if you like, can happen. I need your comment, sir. Thank you. Thanks so much for, for calling, Brother K, as always. We appreciate your call. 974 870 This is your heart station. You're live. Good morning. Hello, good morning. Good, morning. How are you? good, thank you. How are you doing this morning? Mr. President, how are you? Good morning, sir. Yeah, this is Mr. Chukwazi. Mr.? Mr. Chikubabe. Chikubabe? Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah,
<laughs> my, question, <laughs> my question is to Mr. President. <laughs> Who is the owner of DP? Because we are hearing from Judith Kavemba that you have just been called to stand in 2021. And the DP was formed before uh, you stand as a president in DP. Who is the owner of the DP? Thank you. Thank you so much for calling, Mr. Chikubabe. Let's take in the third one, and then uh, my guest will attend to your questions. You're alive. Good morning. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, man. Good morning, thanks. Mr. President, good morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you. Uh, this is Wiseman. Wiseman? Yes. Where are you uh, calling Mr. us from? Calling from Balaston. Talk to us. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, first of all, I just want to encourage you because uh, what is happening is a blessing in this guy. I believe that before you reach the top, you have to hit rock bottom. So whatever is happening, sir, is for the good. I, I, I believe so. Exactly. And uh, you told me yesterday, you are talking, sir, both on Facebook and Twitter. You are the man of the match. <laughs> man of the match. Man of the match. Yes, I have a question. Uh, there are some rumors that uh, Madam Kadenba and Mr. Kombe are being sponsored by the ruling party. These are rumors. Can you confirm or deny them? Thank you, sir. Wise man, thanks so much for calling us. Uh, so three calls there. Um, Mr. Chikwabe, Brother K, and Wise man. Let's, let's handle those. Okay, uh, Brother K, uh, I think Brother K has raised a very substantive issue and uh, I think as DP would want to have a, would want to have a, a, recording. a recording of that so, uh, so that we can immediately uh, look at it and hear it mm. and I give it to the lawyers also to, to, to hear it because that's a very serious uh, omission. I think that is like you're having uh, subversive acts against a legitimately elected government. And I think our colleagues maybe would be given an opportunity to shed more light on what they meant because I'm not aware about that. So it would be good that uh, immediately we take uh, hold of that uh, uh, clip and I think Mr. Mashindi is listening wherever he is. We need to get hold of that and uh, give it to our lawyers so they can hear it and we subject it to, uh, to the process of the law if need be. Uh, Mr. Chikubavi, who is the owner of DP? The owners of the DP is the people. It is you, yourself. You are the owners of the party. And uh, if you hear one person or two people say we are the owners of the party, we'll see who the owners are. It is a process, Kavidi. Mm. We'll see who the owners are. And uh, just wait for time. Since this has started, we'll see who the owners are. I told you before that uh, the issue of being invited uh, does not arise. Uh, it doesn't, uh, it's neither here nor there. Uh, we'll see who was invited and who was not invited. The process is, is there. Uh, uh, then there is a wise man band. I agree with you that it's a blessing in disguise. Some things happen, you know. When something happens, sometimes you complain. Why has this happened to me? This should not have happened. This, But you know, the Bible says all things happen for good to them that love the Lord. Uh, God will not bring something before you that you are not able to handle and then you will not bring you harm. You ensure that you you experience uh, something which is uh, uh, which is uh, uh, of your benefit. Mm. Rumors of uh, Judith and uh, Justin being sponsored by uh, the UPND. <laughs> there are rumors. Rumors are rumors. You can hear rumors, but uh, again, time will tell. Mm. Time will tell. You know these things. Nothing is hidden. Time will tell, but it's not for me to tell. But time will tell. 0974-870-877-0967-877-447. I think we'll take in the last set of uh, phone calls before we get out of here. Um, we only have uh, nine minutes before we, we wind up. 0974-870-877. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Yeah, uh, this is uh, Prince. Who? Prince, you said? Yeah, uh, to just say that we always tell people not to see the, uh, the party of the people. Uh, please. But in the end, it is us giving the people the wrong kind. You see that the child is always saying, 
kushiria mungu na mbali yeta ya giri kwa chaini usimai sinki wikabu enai ina wahali yetu 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 Mr. Prince, Mr. Prince, hold on. Mr. Prince. Mr. Prince, many thanks for calling us. I don't think we're on the same page, and yeah, he can't hear us. So yeah, we 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 have to to move on. Uh, when you call in, it's a conversation. Uh, listen to us as we listen to you, so that we know what we're talking about. You're live. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Yeah, uh, morning, uh, Forever. Good morning. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Uh, good morning, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, sir. Okay, my name is Whiteson. Talk to us. Water. Yes, uh, just a concern. Um, I know, of course, it's a bone of contention between um, the, I would say, the internal part of um, uh, DP. Mm, mm. But um, my concern again is that um, if we look at probably MMD, it started like this. Then you find that they'll be dragging back and forth, back and forth. By the time you know it, the whole term, as in five years, would have elapsed without you offering those checks and balances to the end of the day. So if you are not careful, it can be also the same thing. So what I'm, I'm appealing to you probably can resolve this internally. Because as of yesterday, I heard on the news that um, the MMD, they've decided to work with the government. So again, it reduces the number of political parties which can offer checks and balances to the uh, uh, government of the day. Thank you. Mm. Thanks so much for, for calling. Um, let's take in our last call before we wind up. 0974-870-877. 0967877447. This is the hot seat on your hot station. Good morning. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Kala. Morning, sir. Sir, I want you to tell us, why did you leave the PF? Why, what, what was the issue that made you leave the PF? Can What's, you the tell us the, What's the name again? You. What, 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 what's Why did you leave the PF? What, what was is the main reason that you left the PF? So you were a comfortable foreign affairs minister, but I don't know why you left the PF. What's what your, was the issue really? What's, what's, your, what's your name? Chanda. Chanda. Thanks so much, Chanda, for calling. Thank you. We appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Um, deal with us. Then we wind up. I've got a question before we leave. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, now, listen. Uh, thank you very much, callers. Uh, Bachanda, why did you leave the PF? Bachanda, I left the PF... Uh, because I didn't agree with the style of management. I didn't agree with uh, the fight against corruption was cosmetic. I didn't agree that the Yama leaders, they should become businessmen and women. I didn't also agree with the kind of uh, extravagance that was uh, being witnessed. Very sad uh, scenario. So I left the PF. And I know your question has got some uh, hidden agenda. If I can suspect, uh, I can tell you that uh, Harry Kalava has left PF and will never go back to PF. J just on I'll that, moved on. Yeah, just on that. There was a, a, a there was a conference, a meeting at the Mulungosh International Conference Center, and there's a clip that went viral of you telling the the PFSG, uh, Mr. Davis Mwila, and I think you were standing to the UPND presidential candidate who is the president now, and you're telling Mr. Um, Davis Mwila that. Like you were very convincing, you will lose the election. <laughs> uh, did you see that clip? Then? I saw. You remember that? Somebody sent it to me. You remember that? I do remember. Why were you I so convinced? Uh, because uh, I heard the people's aspirations. I knew that Zambia po yafikirita pawe me, and where I come from, they say chifulo chisuma chifimba pamenso. He came and just started dancing right in front of me there. That kind of a song, honestly. 
So, and I reminded him that, sir, PF is not going to bounce back. Bale pona ma PF. And a PF vali pona. I could see that PF was going to, to go down. Now, why did I say that? Mm. It's because PF had taken a very wrong path. They took a very wrong path of insatiable greed. And I knew that it was going to end up in grief. That's why I left. And I've got no regrets of having left PF. Then you asked me later on, but why can't you? So what's the difference? Why can't? Those now have seen that this person has got the courage. Mm. He's got the right fortitude. He's got hindsight on matters. He knows what he wants to achieve. So maybe we should uh, run with him. They are coming. And uh, you won't stop people. No, don't come because I ran away from you, so don't come to DP. So you allow them to come and then you clean them up if there's any clean. You baptize them, baptize them, <laughs> baptize them. <laughs> <laughs> <In> the <laughs> okay. Let's go back uh, to the What son says, uh, yeah. <laughs> be careful because the whole process can end up derailing you. That's why I've told the SG of our party. I said, you know what? We are having by-elections here. And I'm, you know, I told you when I came here that I want to talk about certain issues. Mm. And you just want me to be talking about this back and forth. Me, because, I've got a big agenda. Because that's the hottest issue right now. Okay, that's the, the issue. Mean, okay. Yeah. Uh, look, we will be very careful. We know what has happened in the past. And there is a Bemba adage again, which says, Uwa mano asambi la chichita. He who is wise will learn from how the fool has been handled. Treated. But mm. maybe not in its exact uh, 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 intention. We have seen what has happened in the past. There will be a lot of derailing, I'm telling you. There will be a lot of derailing. You can already see this question which was asked by Brother K. That uh, they will make it very difficult for the new government to, the new don government. So it is giving you ideas where... Things are coming from, you know, so they're putting things together now to see that, okay, so this is the direction uh, that things are going. So you're having ideas of, uh, of all these things. But I can tell you, but why UPND should brace themselves. We are not here uh, to be cheerleaders. I will not. I will not be a cheerleader simply because I should uh, go with a, a, a... It will not work. It will not work. And I know my colleagues in the DP. They are also resolved. But PF Vadi Mumaka, the two of us are going to When they were in power, we walked out on them. Go to Bakuwe the number. Go to Bakuwe. That's when we can start going to them. No ways. Those who are trying to say that, trying to allege things like that, it's an imagination of their own things in their heads. They know their agenda, and the agenda which they have, Ike Shivikwa. Nothing is hidden. Avant you cannot hundwink them thinking that uh, you are smarter than them and then you can play this game and that game. Eventually, people will know what is happening soon rather than later. What would you say is the future of the DP with these Rangos that uh, have emerged? There are even no the Rangos. There are even no Rangos and in the party. I mean, I mean, the party presidency, how do you intend to handle this matter to avoid killing the party because again we've seen in the past as you refer uh you know parties first of all have internal wrangles and then eventually they just fall off the fizz off look for us in the words of my sg yesterday we are very equal to the task and i can tell you flavor mm. we are not jokers we are equal to the task and the goodness in all this is that we are aware about so many things. We are very aware. And because we are aware, we are a step ahead. We knew from the way to go that this thing will be in, the, in, in that high court. We are aware. And uh, we, uh, we know that all oh, there is, they'll be, they'll be moving from one station to another, one station to another. Uh, and that is helping us a lot, by the way. Because the name Hari Kalaba, He's not dying. Eh? People now saying this Harry Kalaba, I received uh, some about uh, 15 calls yesterday from people who said, Ah, I've heard about you, Bakalaba. Because in Dimwe, I'm very much a company, but I always sit in my team support. So somehow this thing is working. What you want, why you know? This thing is working to my advantage and to our advantage. So, yes, we'll continue pushing as DP, we'll continue pushing hard. 
the future is bright because we are focused. And the goodness in all this is that the DNC members, they are not the ones. Remember I told you, mm. the DNC members are not in contention. They are there. Uh, and they are running the party uh, together with me as its leader, fully. The only challenge that my colleagues have raised is no Kalaba. He should not have been president because Ukwayanda should not be president. Ukui was implementing things. Ukuno, Alesta Fe Abuka, Ashta Point. Abuka, Ashta Point. Ah! If you have a Nabukire, if you have a point, you are to Alaba Vice President. If you have a Nabukire, if you have a point, you are to Treasurer. So what's the fuss? The truth is, we are focused. And if we to lay fire, number two, we to provide proper checks and balances. I can assure Zambians that in Ganpari Chichena, of holding the current government accountable, no matter what wind they might want to use to distract the process, we are going to hold them accountable. Because there are promises that have been given for the people of Zambia. We have to hold them accountable. And we will. We will. Mr. President, I'd like to thank you so much for coming through to the hot seat this uh, morning. Um, we appreciate your time. Uh, off your busy schedule. And thank you so much for sharing with us, uh, you know, your side of story with regards to what's going on in the DP. All the best. And uh, thank you so much once again. Uh, thank you for having me. And uh, uh, all the best to our candidates today. Mm. We have elections in the seven places in the country. Yeah. Uh, we pray that uh, things will be well for, for our party as we hold elections. And I hope the violence that I was talking about, which you never gave me an opportunity to talk about, next time I come, you give me an opportunity. We will, we will discuss about that. Thank you. <laughs> that there is uh, the DP president, Mr. Harry Kalaba, speaking to us on the hot seat. We'll return next week on Tuesday at 9 to 10.30 and Thursday, 9 to 10.30. You do have a good day.